When you create an academic document, you need to insert citations to say where you got the information from, and at the end, you need to have a bibliography. You can do that very easily using Word. There are four steps in the process. Adding the sources, inserting citations, inserting bibliography, and converting your citations to text. We work in the References tab. You must decide on the style you're going to use. I'm going to use Harvard. I now need to add the sources, the places where I got the information from. There are two ways to do it. I can click on Manage Sources and then New. Or I can click on Insert Citation, Add New Source. Then I need to select the type of source. Book, journal article, website. I click there and I select the type of source I'm going to add. And then I need to fill in all these little blocks. Now, ah, yeah. This is a journal article. Journal article, obviously, the author's surname first, and then comma, and his first name. Then I need to put in the title of the journal. Article. Not the title of the journal, the article. This is peculiar to journals. The journal title must be in quotation marks. Get that right. Then, our website. For website, have the author's surname, if there is an author. Surname, comma, first name. Then I must be sure to fill in year, month, day, accessed. Websites change. And you need to be very certain when you accessed it. Then I need to put in the URL. I copy and paste that because you've got to get it correct and you may make some mistakes if you were to type it. Book. As per usual, author surname, comma, first name. Then edition. It is a number and then two letters. So if it was second, it would be two. ND, third, three RD, fourth, four TH. If there's more than one author, I always go to edit. And there I put in one author at a time. Author surname, first name, middle name, and I click on add. And then I can add all the authors. And then, when I do it that way, I will get this correct here. One other problem with authors. If your author has a name where there is a space in the middle, such as de Clerc, you put it here under corporate author, because then the first part of the word and the second part of the word stay together. Citations. Citations are found in the document after the information you're referring to. You need to say where the information came from. To do this, I click on Insert Citation, then I choose an author. Now here, Marshall made the statement here. So I'm going to click on Marshall. And it will put in a citation. Now I can use different authors here many times throughout my document. They, the sources have been entered into the document and they're here. I can use that source in many different places. As I have put it there and it already is 
there somewhere else. Now, when you add them, leave the space before the citation and you put it before a full stop. I have the author's surname, Wong, comma, the year, and the page number. How did I get that page number? To get the page number, I put my mouse on that citation and I click on that down arrow. And then I go to Edit Citation. And then I put in the page. Do that for all the journal articles and the books. Web pages don't have page numbers. When you've finished putting all your citations into your document, go back and look at managed sources. There should be ticks next to all the sources which you have used. That one, Grabag, I have not used. There's no tick. So I must delete it. I don't want him in my bibliography because I did not cite him. On the bibliography, I'm ready to insert it now. You put your mouse where you want the bibliography to be. I normally have the heading first. And I click on Insert Bibliography. And a bibliography appears. Now that's step number three. Step number four. I have to convert all these citations to text. You click on a citation, click on the down arrow. You convert the citation to static text. Doing this, I have to take out all the unnecessary things. I simplify things. So we take out any P's and full stops and commas. I want the author's surname, space, the year, colon, page number, but no P's. And if there's no page, I just have the author's surname and the year. And that is how I do my citations and my bibliography. With credit. List the sources. Plagiarism is not acceptable.